Uh, no, this is ginseng. Uh, this is just not milk. I do think it's. Wow, it's pretty bitter, but uh, it's all right. It's not bad. You didn't take sugar. And uh, and another slow paced. So is cool. this is this common in this area? Yeah, very cool. What's up guys, I'm in Italy and I'm here with my friend Alessio, he's cooking right now. Um, I'm staying at an Airbnb in Passignano and if you don't know that, it's between Florence and Rome. It's like in the central part of Italy. Um, Italy is very beautiful and I'm, 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 it's awesome. I'm blown away by the people, the food, it's, uh, it's a great experience. So there oh, is not the pasta. Bark. All I can say is one word. Delicioso. Yeah. Tell me that's the truth. It's good. It's good. I love it. So anyways, Alessio, um, I just wanted to ask him some questions since, you know, my channel was started through NoFap and a lot of you guys are here because of NoFap. But I also want to let you know, I'm like, I'm kind of going away from my videos being all about no fat. And Alessio kind of agrees, um, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. we met through this. Right. The reason is because it's, it, you know, life goes on with or without no fat. I was asking him earlier about like the men, the young guys in Italy, I was saying, do you think they have a problem with PMO? I don't think they have a problem or they don't realize it. I mean, they don't think it's uh, an addiction, you know, uh, they just do it. Most of the guys, I don't think that they even know no fat or the whole PMO, uh, you know, problem or issue. So then that could be the, maybe the issue with some people that have found no fat because they think it's worse off because they're doing something that we shouldn't do because we're only told it's wrong by the guys on no fat, right? Yeah. So you can kind of get in the wrong mindset if you think, oh, no fat's wrong. And if I continue to do things that like PMO, which is against what no fat is, then, then you feel more guilty, right? Or you feel more ashamed. Probably the shame is one of the reasons why people don't even share about their no fat opinions if they even know about that. Yeah. But But you definitely think that porn use is is high throughout Italy. Yeah. Okay. I do I definitely do think it's I kinda read about it once and it's definitely high. The you the users are a lot. Okay, so here's my next question. Do you, do you personally think porn use is bad? Definitely. definitely well, I mean, bad. and I don't want to say bad because I'm not here to... But, well... I, I'm not against porn. I'm not trying to ban porn. I don't think it should be banned because, the, yeah, there's just too much controversy. But, I mean, I, I think it's unhealthy. Yeah, the definitely. habitual use of porn is unhealthy. Because not only for your mental health, because it's it develops probably habits and behaviors that doesn't that don't belong to you know to know healthy people yeah and it takes i mean it, and it sucks the life out of your dopamine receptors you are just trying to yeah to activate your pleasure you know but while watching a video it's not not uh you know, not normal not healthy so what could you say to people that are out there struggling with trying to quit porn but they can't? That's a good question because a lot of users are like... That's a good I question I have yeah. not an answer for. Well, what would your... What, could you give any advice? Like what would your advice be? Stay away from any device, whether smartphones, PCs or other you know, uh, technological devices. Go out as much as possible, meet your friends, do any kind of pa hobbies, passions, D you know, you, you just have to, and Austin will agree with me, uh, just 
discover yourself more outside your house, outside your room, outside your, you know, comfortable, comfort zone. It's just what Yeah, I'm, no, this is delicious. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by eating, but... <laughs> it's probably joking. No, I'm not. So, no, what I want to say with that is, for me, I found it was that porn, masturbation, all those unhealthy habits were all about myself isolating away from people. But then when I started connecting with people, getting outside of my house or my comfort zone, getting outside of myself, I found freedom from that. I found that I didn't have to use PMO anymore because it was really, I just wanted to connect with somebody. That's right. I think that it helps a lot. I mean, if you try to get out of your comfort zone and you connect with other people, yeah. you can actually develop awkward relationships and who knows, probably also meet People and girls, I mean, girls, guys, or other, you know, uh, if you are talking about also girls, or not, <laughs> of course, because we are just open to... Yeah, to, so yeah, that's, I mean, we could really go into a deep discussion of the whole, um, the reality of PMO and, and how it's, I mean, it's out there, it's everywhere. No matter what country I go to, there's people struggling with porn, masturbation, there's people that don't struggle with it, they don't see it as a problem. Most so of like he's telling me, a lot of kids here don't see it as a problem. So then, then where does that leave us? So that's why I don't know, I don't know what to do in it. But I'm always open to talking to people about it. But it's like, how do you start that conversation? It's, it's a very hard topic to bring. Very hard topic, very, uh, very difficult to talk about it openly, you know, it's right. just not as an intimate, uh, topic, I mean, it's some like uh, uh, it belongs to our privacy, to the privacy of people, so it's just right, and it's it's an opinion sometimes, it's, it's, a, it's a matter of an opinion. <laughs> so, Alessio is having to leave pretty soon, he has to go to work tonight, and he lives in the next town over. So, just to wrap it up, um, what can we say to wrap this up? I mean, do you think? If you had any other things to say about it that you'd want people to know if so they already know about nofap of course they're watching this video like what could you say um just any opinion or anything you would want to say well i just think that one of the most important things about nofap and the nofap journey um is to not count days uh i know that this can sound cheesy or you know uh repetitive because I think that many people read this as a and also Austin thinks about this I don't know if many people agree but anyway no, I, go think on, that, go on. I think that counting days is bad because you constantly think about okay I'm struggling I'm doing this challenge I count days while you should not count days because you just have to be natural on this challenge you have to try you have to overcome struggles and to gain a lot of strength to, to this. But if you still count days and you see, okay, day one, day two, day three, right? you will end up failing because I think it's normal because our well, not that you will fail, but you're basically setting yourself up for, there has to be an end to the beginning. <laughs> I think to wrap it up, we could agree that we basically keep living our life and keep enjoying life instead of beating ourselves up because we're not meeting this expectation of a certain amount of days, right? You do as much as you can outside your room, outside your house, you right. know, just to, uh, to avoid about, uh, thinking about it. You know? yeah. So, thank you, Alessio. It's thank been you, Alessio, for having me here. Thank you for cooking. It's been great. Um, thank you, guys. We'll see you next time. Well, he won't see you, but I will see you. No, arrivederci. Arrivederci. Okay. okay. Which is basically see you soon. Arrivederci. arrivederci. Oh, wait. Arrivederci. Which together is arrivederci. It's a process, just like language. So we're still going, we've been going about seven minutes. Um, you so, will end this part? Yeah. <laughs>
So what were you saying? Hurry, it's running low. I forgot. <laughs> well, I will cut out this part. What? Let's try So, no, we'll just go from here. I'll cut it out so it'll move. So Alessio was saying, um, what were you talking about? Anyway, so, okay, so <laughs> cut, you get cut there. 